Hey, in part 8 we're gonna start breaking up the flow a little bit. So now let's do a really important layer. It's gonna bring a lot of life to the hair. So this little thingies, these little thingies. Here's a nice spool. Another one. It's gonna be the coffer layer. I'm just gonna start with this piece. I'm gonna get the sheet. Just gonna move this all the way to the hair level. Let's not move that like that. Let's make sure we can actually see the curves. Because we can select them. Let's add them to 39. so we can work with them more easily let's put them here also make them the same color <coughs> so now let's work on this and for this I'm just gonna take these two cards Duplicate them. Let's see, I think we're using like 24. Let's go ahead and put this to 24 as well. Maybe 28, a little bit high. smaller, a bit longer. You can press Alt B to change the background color. Actually let's not rotate this like this. Rotation back. That's that one's fine. Let's keep it. It's oriented here. Hold on shift and drag to select the invert that selection. Maybe something like this. Okay, use a little bit less profile. So 
I like this. This is nice. Local geometry added. Take a look at the site. Let's give this a lot of twisting. I'm hitting Alt B to change the background. With that, let's go to front, create curves, and let's do the pencil. Now let's just draw a similar curve to this one. Now we can use the rebuild. Just straighten it out. something like cards down G to shift to snap so let's put that like right here let's do a duplicate Duplicating it doesn't work. Just undo. Create a new type. Let's call this OG clumps. This is just to organize a viewport. Let's move them. Both move them here. Let's just. That's nah, fine. We can keep the skill different. Let's keep some space for more cards, actually. Now let's move our curve. And the pivot. Actually, we can do a reset pivot here. Just gonna move it to the top. And now we do one last type. Let's call this one clumps. Find it. Clumps. So now that we have our sheet in 3D and it's organized, let's go ahead and select this this clump that we did, both uh, curves. And now we can click this one. We can click bind. Now let's give this better orientation. And you can see it's flipped. So open 
go for control window. Axis control and just hit flip. And now it's on the right direction. So what we can do now is we have these two clumps that were here. So now bind it to this thing. So we can move them both with one point. And if we we hit unbind. Maybe we should move that, but it's fine for now. You see that they they come here again. But they, they go to the center. Now we can change the length efficiency again and whatever. If we make some changes. And after that we can bind again. And you will have it back to just one curve. We have some stuff here, but I'll worry about that later. So now we have like a haircut with some depth to it. So let's see if that's going to work better for areas like this. I think it can look quite nice. So let's make a... First, let's put this in the sheet. Make sure you have the whole group. And let's just duplicate it. Let's give it a try. Let's also give this a new color, purple. And we don't actually need to have them all come to to the end what we've been doing the whole time. We can also say because hair naturally intersects other hairs as well, right? So what we can also do is we could just move it here. And say, all right, these hairs, they're going to intersect and all come together at this point. And that way we can get a little more. Let me disable this. That way we can get a little bit more density. Because the more you stretch it, right? The more the polys are going to stretch and the, the more fast it is. Like if you look here, this is going to look ugly. As you can see, you can... You can see the steps more clearly. And now it looks nice and smooth. So that's something you want to think about. I think I'm just going to... Try to make it blend in a bit. So like this. Let's mess around with the width. Again, pay close attention to how it's going to blend in here. So let's go ahead and see how this looks. I'm not sure. First let's take it and group. You can also rename these things by the way if you want, but I don't want to go that far in organizing. So this is the, the main part, the coffer gonna be a first coffee card and I think it might work for this area but I think this is gonna be too see-through 
So maybe we need to stick another card in here just to fill this part up where we don't have any base cards. So let's take a look. I'll take a look at this. Compared to this. Yeah, I think we. I think here it's looking fine. And you can see it has some depth to it, which is nice. But we do need to stick something in it to fill this up. But we can do that later. First, let's do a duplicate. Let's find another place to add one. So this one here. This one should work better as it has layers underneath it. a different color as well. So let's see where we want this one to end. I think I'm gonna connect this one all the way. Because as you can see on the reference it's visible all the way. And on this layer, we can also start breaking up the symmetry a lot more. Like, we can add these cards from different positions on the other side. It's gonna help make it asymmetrical. And these two pretty much be where the, the final hairline is gonna be. It's a lot thicker. Let's change the width in the beginning. Can add an extra point. And I think we need a little bit more depth in between. Okay, you can see it's blending in a bit too much. Try to move them out a little bit. So maybe something like this. Yeah, that's better. Now you can see it has some more depth to it. If we go ahead and change the render. Solution. Can say something like this. And you can see now that we're starting to create some depth in the actual hair. I think it might be a little bit too much now. Uh, let's keep it for now like this. Let's give the look in Unreal. I think here in Unreal it's looking really nice. The depth feels right, we're getting some shadows. So you can see that we're really starting to get some detail in the hair. Let's try to match the hair color a little bit more. So hair instance. Make it a little bit more dark. So like this. And I think we can curve this upwards a little bit here. I'm just gonna keep this right here on the screen. That can also help just putting your ref board like right next to the 
to the actual thing that you're trying to make. Right here, I want to be thinner. So let's try this. Let's do another green port. I think that looks really nice. As you can see now on the other coffee lay, here's the thing that's gonna go underneath it. And we're gonna have another one that goes on top. Now this layering is gonna create a lot of depth. For now let's keep focusing on here. And I think this one's not really matching. Like you can see it's really thick. And should have like it's nice and thin and then breaks up in two parts. So we can go back to Maya. Let's just make this one nice and thin. Or something like this. Wait. Just thin it out. a bit more curvature pay attention to where it should be so something like this and then to get this effect we can I think it's this one we could take a card like this we can duplicate it Move it out. Let's put in a coffer one. Then make sure you have the whole group selected. I'm just gonna select this one and this one. Let's group them together and call this clump. Because this is all gonna be one hair clump. Let's scale it down a little bit. Again, look at your reference. Make it less thick. Just move it like right. Something. Again, I'm paying attention to the ear. So it should be like here somewhere push it forward a little bit so I think here is a good place now we can start to let's make this way low Now instead of just having clumping in the textures, we can start to actually make the hair cards clump as well. So I just move it. Now I just kind of try to blend it together. So as you can see, now it's coming nicely together. Man, I, I keep finding myself resetting the pivot like every time. So something like this. Orient this. Now we can just take this one. Play around with this a little bit. I want this to be quite high. So if we check the poly count here. It's higher than here. But like... Little areas that look interesting like this, they're gonna draw more more attention. So we should be using more polys because we're gonna be paying more attention to this. And we can duplicate. Okay. 
Let me just clump the tip together better. So just change the width here. Now let's make this one come in here as well. Let's have a bit more curvature on this one. do one last one let's just duplicate it and do like this a little bit longer now here in our outliner you see the coffer is this layer but here we have this one clump. We should all group this together because it's acting as one hair clump. This way it's easy to find all the cards that belong to the hair clump that we're recreating. So we can just search for the layer, the coffer layer, then go to the clump. We can select like a curve. Then you can see how it's in this one. So here's the coffer, the clump. Let's try next part. I think that looks pretty nicely. I want to be a little bit thicker here though. And I think I'm gonna make a new card. I want like... Uh, like right here, I don't like how the hairs are separating. I want them to be like one one clump together. So again, we can go to Fiber Shop. And the longer we're working on this hair, we're just gonna fill out all the space that we need. So it's this one that we used to so duplicate this. Let's go to clump. Can change the width. And you can see how easy it is. Uh, we move this one a little bit. That's annoying. We can lock UVs. And that way, we're gonna make sure that we don't accidentally move things around, because you cannot undo in this program, which is annoying. So moving your UVs, it's going to change all the hair again. But you can see how fast and easy it is to make a new clump. Just duplicate it, slide the slide it just a little bit and bam, you have a whole new card. And the more cards you have, the longer the, the bake's going to take. So don't forget to go on Photoshop and do this. Updated. And here's our new card. And you can see how in a matter of minutes we like, oh I need a new card. In just a minute we can make that new card. Let's just take this one and move it over. As you can see, now we don't have any space in between. I think it's going to look a little bit better. And yeah, I, I like this a lot more. I think we need to push this down a little bit more. Let's check where the air is. Yeah, we need to change the flow a little bit. Let's go ahead and hide all these from the breakup. So 
uma ponte, né? You can see it's starting to look pretty soft and natural. As soon as we add like some half thin hairs here, it's gonna blend in nicely together. Just looking at the whole thing. It's checked out in Unreal Engine. problem right now is that it's like this thing it should not be going over the air like right here it's gonna go in these hairs let me just select all and just make sure the curve is earlier it should be something more like this i think Again, I don't need to exactly match my hair. I'm gonna make it disappear around here. I think that looks a little bit more like what we're trying to achieve. And you can see how we're kind of getting an effect that's just going underneath here, which is good. Let's do this big piece. It's going to add a lot to our, to our actual hairline. So gonna be this Maya let's duplicate the big one just see I'm gonna give this one a new color like purple ah, yellow should be like here And I want to make sure that I capture like the, the curvature, how it's curving in. Now I'm gonna make it go about right here and then we need a cover too. It's gonna go like this. We can tuck this one underneath that one. And again, any wasted polys on the inside here, we can come in later and delete them. But if you don't care about poly count, it's fine, you can, you can be lazy, you can keep them. Maybe something like this. It's oriented. I'm gonna duplicate this thing here. Don't wanna have any tape on here. As you can see, this part is pretty fun of doing hair and everything's starting to come together a bit. We're starting to get a more realistic look to the hair, which is nice and encouraging. But as you see in my it still looks like shit because we have the, the weird rainbow colors. That's fine, it's supposed to look terrible here. If you don't want it to rotate, just select the two, fir the, the, the two first control points. I'm gonna be doing it like this. 
now we have like this effect it should be going over this one actually but it should have a little bit more flow pointing towards the end let's do something like this maybe now you can see we can take this one we can change it a little bit we can say it's gonna come together with these hairs now we can take this one make a duplicate Same story, clump. And I want to make sure that I also put them all together on this layer. Because I know I need to come in and clean up this topology later. So it's easier if it's all on the, the same layer. So again, I'm just putting multiple textures together and cards together to make them clump. I'm just trying to create an effect of that this is not just a block of hair, it's actual hair. If you know what I mean, like it's continuing. I think we can actually take this. Let's just make it blend. Over here. With this directional. change the width a bit I'm just looking to this green hair here and I'm trying to align it so that's nice you can see now we have these awkward intersections and if we move it up everything is coming in nicely together Do another export. And you can see how much depth we have now in our hair. We get some shadowing. I think it's a little bit too thin here. And I do not like the, the spiral effect that we have here, so I'm just going to hide this again. So let's go ahead and make this one even thicker. Let's move this one in again. Just like this. This one can be thicker as well. Still a bit spiral, but I'll leave it in for now. And I think I'm gonna try to like break that flow up later. Let's take a look in Unreal. <coughs> Get rid of the hair too, and make a duplicate. 
So let's try to make one that's a little bit darker here. So let's go ahead and fix the hairline. Let's just take this one. Let's just move it all the way. Maybe out here. So let's select this one. Move it with it. Yeah, I think that looks a lot more appropriate, the location of the hairline. Let's go ahead and go to mom's set. So, so I'll go to site. Let's edit the contrast a bit on there. You can see that's a little bit closer. One problem that we have is that the hairs are quite thick here. Like they should be nice and soft as you can see. So let's move this one down a bit. Do the easy fix first. Let's take it and just move it down. Now let's do the more difficult fix. Let's go to Vibe Shop. We were using these two. Select one. Let's duplicate. Let's see something weird happening. Just make safe. Let's see. So it's break up four. Unlock. it here, let's lock the UVs again, and also the second one. So it looks like we locked everything. Now over here, let's go back to design. Get the main scanner. Go thickness and let's make this a lot thinner. Thickness. So I think that's gonna look a lot better. We're gonna. We can also edit these cards a little bit so they're more different from these. Let's bake them. And let's make sure to stretch the alpha and you can clearly see how much nicer and thinner the hairs are here. Let's go ahead and Maya reload. Now UV 
editor. You can see that we have two UVs here. So let's take the first one. Just move it. Apply the material. So we can actually see what we're doing. So that one's looking good. That one's good. Now I'm not sure if we can just select this curve and transfer the UVs. Let's give it a try. Transfer UVs. Nah, I don't think it's working. Nope. So we're gonna need to go in this one and do the same. So I hope for the, the ones that are still following along that you didn't put too many of these out yet. Or maybe you're not having the same problem as me. Which one's which one? The one's like the top one, ah, it doesn't matter. And we have one more here. And I wish we could select multiple UVs. But it seems like we can't. And since we're using the same card, it's pretty easy. We just take the UVs and we move them. We don't need to scale them. So, one more. This one. The big guy. So we fixed all the UV set. Let's give them our colors again. make this one yellow uh, we should rotate this one a bit I think that's looking better so now you can see that we have really fine transitional roots Let's take a look. And I'm sorry if this is annoying for some people that I keep bringing it in Photoshop and comparing. But I think it will, will make it a bit more clear all the time what we're trying to achieve. You can see just how much difference that made. If we take a look, it's a lot closer to the nice and soft feeling that we have. Right now it's really thick and looks fake. Now it's nice and smooth. Let's go to Unreal Engine. Can we just select? Yeah, we can select the Unreal import. You can see how much more realistic it now looks now that it's soft. Again, if it's looking really bad, open up your alpha. Let me put it on from texture group. And you can see right now we're getting rid of all the 
all the detail because the texture the mid map is making a lower resolution that will be easier to see in game so let's put this back at no mid maps and you see it's looking a lot better so that's one thing that you want to be that you want to keep in mind if you're doing half for games uh, you're gonna want to keep your mid maps because it needs to be more optimized now you can just kind of zoom out and check your mid maps and it's probably gonna look horrible from far so to fix that you can kind of go to your textures and just you can bake out the hair but this time thicker so it's gonna mid map better i think another thing that you can do is you can have like multiple materials and you have like a material for each LOD that way you can have like the LODs that are gonna be further you give that the texture where the hair is thicker but I'm, I'm not sure it's, it's a lot of technical stuff but for me I'm not gonna worry about any of that because I just want a nice looking render in real time as you can see it's still kind of going away a lot but we can fix that once we fill the area up more i think but for now this uh, this is looking pretty nice i think i still want to push the hair out a bit more until like around here probably and this hairline here is pretty good so let's fill this up a bit more Make sure to move this guy as well. So here you can see this angle. And we're getting that angle back here. Let's move this one a little bit. You can select the first two ones. Maybe something like this. Let me rebuild. So let's see how that looks. Let's just kind of compare the differences. And I think we're pushing it too much now. Like the location, but should be like twisting in here. Again, this area is quite important. Like this is going to draw a lot of attention. So I want to make sure that I'm doing them right. and you can see like we have some more twisted hairs here but i'm ignoring those i'm looking at this thing and later we can put some more detail cards in that are like little hairs twisting like this and again we can make them come back to our clump to have everything nicely together so i want to match my texture a little bit close to the reference image and i think this one's a bit too much forward should be like here and then we should have quite a lot of space still i want to push that a little bit back so it's more on the same line as here no. Let's 
let's push this back let's match it up with this one you can also go to a cinematic viewport by the way Get a camera. This is just gonna give you some black bars. I think that's a little bit better. Now to push this a little bit closer, we can add some softer hair cards here. We have these clumps here continue this part let's add some of those here and here the coffers but i think the hairline is starting to get to a good point And at this point, I'm just worried about giving the hair some depth on all parts. Like right now, here we have some depth. And I want to make sure that it's everywhere some depth. And of course, I want to make sure that I keep following my flow. Let's add another one in the middle. You can see how the hair is now starting to get a bit more like a chaotic breaking up look, which is good. And you can see that we start to get some depth, which is good as well. So let's like this one. Yeah, I want to make sure I pay attention to how the hairline is going because right now this is wrong as you can see it's going inwards it should be following the flow here so let's rotate it a bit it's looking more normal push it up Just want to fill it up in the middle. And you can be pretty sloppy with these cards, they don't really have to be perfect. So, something like that. So, as you can see, right now it's really flat here. We do an export. We have some nice thickness and some better breakup. You can see how the hairline's coming together really nice and soft here. I think it should curve a little bit more though here. Let's 
got enough points. And let's make sure we get that curvature. Weird kink here now. And later we will like uh, see we have a lot of empty space here right now. We get get like these triangle valley shapes, and that's gonna look weird. But in the next layer we can, or maybe the more at the end. I'm not sure yet. We can take one card place it like this this way we can fill the space up I think it's okay that we have some empty space underneath this card by then but we'll check but as you can see for now it's a little bit awkwardly shaped and we have too much difference so that's why we'll put a card in between later. But for now, don't worry about it. And you can see how we're starting to get this nice breakup in the air. It's starting to look less repetitive. This actually kept the graph this time. Not sure why, maybe because it's a binded group, but that's nice. So now let's select these. I think we maybe rotate this one a little bit. Yeah, something like that. Just make sure this one is right. Let's change the head material up for now. To a uh, Lambert. Let's call this flat. Again, we can press Alt B to change the background color. I think I'll keep it like uh, this one. Let's get the eyes. Let's make them flat as well. This is just because I'm sick of looking at uh, the material. It's nice to sometimes switch it up.
Let's break up the flow a little bit. So something like that. I do want to fill this up. Put a little bit in front of the other cards. This just so we can soften the hairline out. Because as you can see, these are less thick than the other ones. So we work from really thick to thinner to thinnest. It's going to give a nice soft feel to the hairline. Again. These coffers here, I'm just worrying about adding some volume to the hair. I'm trying to break the flow up a little bit. So maybe these clump together a little bit. Now that's looking a bit weird. We can twist them a bit to make them feel a little bit different. Again, pay close attention to the hairline, to the direction. And how closely they're laying on top. This looking a little bit repetitive, but I think it will fix itself when we work up in the layers. I do like how this is starting to look. We have some depth here. So let's see, let's just take these. Let's be lazy. We just mirror them all. And I do really like this other material on the head. I think it's making it a little bit more soft to look at for a long time. So let's see where are these cards, <coughs> these little ones, I think they might be on here, yeah, it's wrong, they shouldn't be there. can just take the whole coffer, and you can see here we have another one on the wrong layer. To check, we can go to option, same curve. Everything should be the same color, which it is. So everything's on the right lace now, yeah. So let's hide the curves again. Make sure to duplicate those little ones as well. And let's edit the flow break there. Should be late too. 
actually one thing that we can do is we can just add like two that way we can easily identify on which lay they are here and i think that's gonna make it a little bit easy to go back and forth and edit things just want to blend these cards better together let's look at this one Make break up the hairline. Let's take a look how that's looking. As you can see, the hairline starting to fill up nicely. Maybe we need to make like another clump so we can switch them up a bit like one clump, clump A, clump B, clump A. But for now I'm not gonna worry about it too much. So let's fill up this area. If you click the coffee layer you can just kinda get like a view where the cards are so this area has to be filled up now and i'm not duplicating this one to the other side as i want to have like a little bit of a uh, difference in the both sides there's like a really noticeable break and flow if you repeat that here it's gonna look really symmetrical So actually let's take so this one. Go for um, clump one. This one should be on coffee too. You can just select this. Select them all and let's add them to four. Call this coffee B, and this way we can just add the four. Otherwise, it's gonna get a little bit confusing with two and score four. For now, let's just hide this. Select the coffee layer. I'm just going to make them all the same color. So let's take, take this one. Let's make a duplicate. Let's just move it. Let's go with a different color actually. Let's try purple. Yeah, I think that's a little bit more different from the other lace underneath. You can see we still have some space to fill up until here. I think I want to have the, the coffers until like the ears. Let's get our face. Let's check what the ears are. So I think that's okay. Just 
trying to add some AO so I can visualize where the ears are with this material. So I think we can keep it at 8. I think it's this button. Yep. I'm not sure if I like the the purple. Maybe I'll try changing it to white. Yeah, I think I'll keep it at white for now. Because now I can see the the roots a little bit better. I think I want to break the flow up here. That's nice. You can see how nice and soft the roots are. We can make sure that we place them over the last layer. This can intersect with each other, doesn't matter. It's just so soft, you're not gonna see it. Let's just check our poly count. Ah, oh, that's good, it's still pretty low. And you want to make sure that you keep gravity in mind. So something like this is just going to be a little bit weird. And I think the easiest way we can break the symmetry here is to do a mirror of this one. You can see how this one is not too tight, not too loose. We can take this one, we can just drag it down. You can see that it has more gravity now. This is just because it's gonna be a little bit less tightly pulled here. I think it's a little bit too much difference though. I don't like to select all three and have a fill in between both. As you can see, we do need to adjust it. So I prefer to do one fill here and then to mirror that fill over here. It's just going to be a little bit faster. Let's give this one a bit of twisting. And pay closer to the flow of the roots. So, like that. Just make sure we don't have like a weird bulb going on here. I think I want to adjust them all a little bit. 
So I prefer to have one, two, three, but I want to have one, two, three, four. Yeah, you can see we can try to make them come together in a nice clump. I think that's gonna look pretty nice. Again, pay attention to the flow. I this right here is not a nice flow. We have some purple ones left. Let's take the coffin. Let's make them all white. I'm gonna take a small one like this. Duplicate it. Make this one way bigger. again <laughs> something like like this by adding a smaller strand here we can also break a lot of symmetry as long as we don't do it on the other side as well curve and delete it you can see that's adding quite a lot as you can see now it's really repetitive it looks the same now by just adding this one little haircut here you can see that looks a lot more organic and the repetitiveness is gone This way we can just save a little bit on our texture space. It's actually it's open find shop. Because if I want to make another clump, I gotta take these cards and I gotta duplicate them and add some variation. And I do not know how much space I'm gonna need for the other textures yet. So I prefer to not do that yet. We can always come back later to make more variation. Because it's easy to add cards at the end than to remove cards at the end. And since this one is really thin, this card, you can keep quite a lot of space in between. It's just gonna make some nice depth. So over here, let's do a fill. I think I'll do it like this. Make it thinner here. Because I do want to have some difference between these two. And twist it in a different way. Do a duplicate here. Yeah, and pay attention to the hairline. And uh, make 
make sure it's going together with the main clump. And I don't like the like the opposite flow here. So flow breaks is too. So I'll move this down a little bit. this from the skin it's floating quite a bit maybe let's make these cards clump together something like that this flung a little bit of weird Get rid of this kink here. And again, right here, this one. It's the exact same here. So let's just select it. Let's make sure it's a little bit different on this side. Just so we can break the symmetry up a bit. See that we already have some nice breakup, but uh, like the shape is really boring and we don't have any depth. So before now export, you can see how much better it looks now. We have a, a lot of nice breakup. We have some depth in the hair. I do think we have hmm. this card. I don't like how it looks. I think we should have to go in earlier. I 
maybe something like this. Yeah, I think that looks a little bit better. We have this flow here. It's flowing a little bit too much to this point. I want to curve this up a little bit. So that's the flow break. It's important to just take your time and really look how your hair is flowing to which direction. It's a little bit too straight now. This has a little bit too much depth. Yeah, this one. Let's just move this down a bit. Let's make sure to check out the clump in here. Yeah, that looks fine. And the depth is fixed. Take a look in Unreal. Let's see if we can get a little bit more contrast. So let's work a bit on this area. I think we can reuse the same cards that we were doing here for the cover to fill up this area. So let's take a look if it works. Mm, actually, let's make a new clump because if we use this, we're gonna have a lot of wasted polygons. I'm gonna like make them come into the hair here, so we don't need to have all this. We can just do it like this. So let's go ahead and make a new clump. Let's see, let's unhide these. And let's make sure we have cards for these. So. Let's click this for the UV one. Let's make a duplicate. I'm just going to cut this off because it's a lot of variation. We're not going to use the whole card as we want it to go into the hair. So we can actually just go ahead and shorten this. So something like this. Make another different. We can load this a bit. Now let's make a clump. So duplicate them. Let's apply a new material. Let's 
maybe change the UV up a little bit. Actually, I think it's fine like this. But we need a, a little bit more thickness here. So let's just try to move them to the one with the thicker roots. I think we're gonna do two. Like, these are gonna be the. Like the main ones, kind of a base ID. Me make a painting. So we have this our current head that we have right now, and here we have the empty space that we need to fill up with these cards. Then the thick ones. It's gonna be like here. These are thick ones. Then we'll do the one with the thin alpha over here. Will be the, the orange, let's say. And then here we surround the thick ones with the thin ones. So we have a little bit more fill here, but we still get this nice soft blending over here. So let's take these and make a Actually, let's add some twist first. So, twist, twist. Something like this. We have too much now. <clears throat> and we need to add some tape so like like this I think this will work nicely let's duplicate this Like I said, for these are gonna be the outer ones, so we use the one with the light alpha. As you can see, if we put them next to each other, we have some thickness, but we still have like nice slight transitions as well and I think it will work but I'm not sure so let's draw draw two curves again just cleaning up the curve make sure it's straight This like nice if you're reusing the same texture for multiple hairstyles. For the second hairstyle you're gonna do, you're gonna have all the cards already. You can just take them and put them. It's gonna be faster. So over here let's take these two. And let's take this one and bind. And we need to flip them in the over here. See they're too thick now. Which should be at one. You 
because see now that we that we won't be using as many polish i think it's a little bit better to have like more spread it out roots for this area so same for this one take it and let's bind it with that one and flip it so now with a new clump let's take the thick one first Reset the pivot as well. Duplicate. Let's start placing them. One thing that's important if you place clumps like this, we go to this view. You can see over here we don't see too much of the back side, only here a little bit. And over here we have a lot more back side and that's just uh, the black. You want to try to place them in a way where you don't see as much black. So this won't work for the right side. This one's for the left side. And then once we put them at the right side we want to make sure that we flip them. So let's do a quick mirror. Now you can see we don't see the black as well. This is just gonna make your cards look a little bit nice if you try to hide the blacks as much as you can. But of course it's okay if you see some black. Like same here we're seeing some black and maybe we should twist it so we don't see as much black. Or you can like... Mm, straw. Or we could place like a, a new card here. Where the front side of the polygons is heading this way. So you have this card and this card. And both the front faces will be pointing outwards. And this way the black is hidden. But for now let's worry about this area. Stop placing them. So let's add this to 5. Take this group, add this here, let's call this back hash, let's go 5. And actually I think I prefer to have like the number of the layer first. And that doesn't work. And score five. So like this. This way it's just a little bit easier for me to see which one's which one. But do whatever is the easiest for you. <laughs> 